Hello, it's Maxine K and yoga, very sweet yoga. And we are here to bring you another love note today from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. How are you doing living spiritually these days? Are you staying serene and tranquil because life is so sweet and harmonious and easy? Or are you finding that there are some challenges going on in the world with viruses and politics and upsets and uh, divisiveness? Did you know, of course you did, that it is possible to experience serenity in the midst of it all? And in fact, it's very important that we do because there's no there's no reason and no good in getting attached to the fearsome uh, uncertainties. It's essential, in fact, that you and I do our very best to stay centered, to stay centered in peace. And this little one right here teaches us a lot about that. Hmm. Helen Keller said she did not want a peace that passeth understanding, but a peace that bringeth understanding. When we understand that peace is an innate quality of God, and that you and I live from that very life of the divine, and that all of the innate qualities of the divine also dwell within us. Ah, how good it is to remember. We understand that peace is not something to be attained or sought after. It's already here. It's right here in the center of our own hearts. And we need to be still enough to feel it to hear the sweet whisperings of serenity and to realize that we really, truly can dive into an isle of tranquility in the midst of a sea of whatever else may be going on. <laughs> Just looking at this little one reminds us all that it's possible to attain that beautiful sense of peace. Many years ago, I got a call that a family member was in the hospital and that a heart problem was, was uh, suspected. And I drove, oh, at least an hour, it was quite a ways away, uh, to get to the hospital. And the spirit in me was so good to me that it reminded me of a song I had learned in Girl Scout camp many years before that. And it goes like this. <clears throat> I was not expecting to sing to you. <laughs> Peace I ask of thee, O river. Peace, peace, peace. When I learn to live serenely, cares will cease. From the hills I gather courage, visions of the days to be. Oh, you didn't like that one. Strength to lead and faith to follow, all are given unto me. Peace I ask of thee, O river, peace, peace. I sang that all the way to the hospital to calm myself, to enter into that dynamic quality of peace within me. And when I got there, I found that it had only been some sort of food poisoning and that my relative was just fine. Yeah. See, there's no point in getting our knickers in a knot when we don't know 
what's going on or what the outcome of something may be. It's very important to me that I dive deeply into that center of peace. Peace, I ask of thee, O river. What's the river? It's the river of life. And I'm asking to remember that peace is a quality of divine life. And I can experience it when I choose to enter into it and remove my emotions from whatever concerns or anxiety or fear that would be available to me if I wanted to enter into it. Peace, I ask of thee, O river. And peace is given. Oh, it really is that simple. Let's all do it right now. Let's do our best to stay in a place of tranquility as much as possible. Yoga agrees. Life is good. God is available all the time because we can never be outside of that loving, peaceful, powerful presence. So tomorrow you'll get a love note from Reverend Mike. And don't forget to tune in to our live stream on Sunday morning at 10.30. Just go to GPCSL. No, let's not do that. Let's go to, <laughs> to CSLPhilly.com. CSLPhilly.org. Let me say that one more time and make sure I say it correctly as I stay peaceful. Go to our website on Sunday morning. It's cslphilly.org, okay? And if you go at 1030, you will get tuned in by checking on the link and go right to our either the Facebook or the YouTube. And you can hear us live and see us live. And if that's not a convenient time, you can always look later in the day <clears throat> or another day during the week and it, that same link will get you at any day to our previously archived Sunday morning sharings as well as Reverend Mike and my daily love notes Monday through Saturday and on that same website you will find all kinds of interesting things about activities going on you'll have an opportunity to make to our center. <clears throat> so we love you. We're inviting you to stay serene. Peace is a quality of God. It never changes. It is eternally available to all of us. So let's enter into it more deeply today and every day in the days to come. Thank you. We love you. Bye for now.